Mute us. <laughs> All right. Good morning, everyone. My name is Kimberly Wright. Sorry for the long delay. I was having some problems with my equipment. Um, Anthony Bailey was helping me, giving me a boost. So welcome to the class Word Up. Word Up. Word Up. Word up. Poetry, spoken word, and poetry, spoken word, and short stories. Can you hear me still, everyone? Yes. All right, yes. Breaking up a little bit, though. Okay, so take it easy. And last week, mm. our lessons were on the the I Wish poem. And if anybody had, what other poem did we have to do? Oh, well, I think we probably were finished with the riddle poems, but if anybody has anything to share, any poem at all, you know, that'd be a great time. So since we lost some time, that's what we're going to do. I have one. Right, ready? You got the letters? I have one. Yes, ma'am, Miss Vicki. What is the, uh, the letter SMILE, S-M-I-L-E? Is that an acrostic poem? Yes, across it. Okay. Saw you first with my eyes and your mouth had a beautiful smile. I imagined how wonderful your lips would feel against mine, except I didn't know you then. You want me to repeat it? Yes, please. Smile, the letter S. Saw you first with my eyes and your M. Mouth had a beautiful smile. I, I imagine how wonderful your L lips would feel against mine. E, except I didn't know you then. Thank you. Oh, okay. I like that. All right. So, uh, so Miss Vicky, I would like to say that uh, the poem was really, really great. I love the flow of it. However, even for the sake of, I don't know if the first time you recited the letters, but I didn't hear you, but the second time you did, but even for the second that I'm glad that you did it so people could follow the lines. But however, when, remember everyone, when you are writing an acrostic form, you do not have to recite out the letters. You're supposed to uh, say it in a fashion that the flow would be able, the person would be able to pick up what the next letter is. But however, wonderful job. Anyone else want to share a poem today? If you are online with us or in class, don't forget to unmute yourselves. Anybody have any type of poem you want to share? Don't be shy. I, I have a question. Yes, sir. My uh, virtual class list says something out making something out of nothing. And what class is this? This is Word Up, the class about poetry, spoken huh? word. You know, my first class that I met you on, poetry spoken. Yeah, I know. My, my but the, the, the list they sent me said something about making something out of nothing. That was yesterday. Mm -hmm. Yep, ready to go. My, my class, Making mm -hmm. Something Out of Nothing, is on uh, Tuesdays. So. Mm -hmm. It's at oh, okay. ten thirty and oh sorry, ten, oh, it's it's from ten to uh ten thirty. So it's a class about recycled crafts art. Mm -hmm. All right, anybody else wanna share? I do, but I can't get in. <laughs> well, we can hear your voice. Okay, you can hear my voice? Yes. yes. Okay, good. Well, I started writing something about the coronavirus, but my daughter said, don't use the word corona. 
So I, I started it in another way. The time has come for deep reflection, a time to make decisions without deception, a time to find faith anew, a time to reflect the genuine and authentic you. This time should be spent to gain insight and to understand that God is at hand. This time has come to understand that all is well for every man. I like that. Well, I've been working on it. <laughs> That's really good, too. That was really, 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 really good, Ms. Jean Harris. I want you all to keep writing and don't forget to revise, revise, revise. And, you know, has anyone purchased any type of journals or books and started to compile their finished poems that we've written or shared on the, um, in the class so far? I did. You said you have? I have. I started a, and I got a, loose leaf notebooks so or when I hate something I tear it up. <laughs> <laughs> well you're gonna need a lot of notebooks to you know, I know <laughs> brainstorm and ball up and throw away. That's right. You always see that type of depiction in movies when you see writers you see a lot of balled up paper on the floor. All right so if you have any paper and pen you want to write down our next uh lesson and don't forget, we're still having fun with everything what we've done so far. Last week, I wrote in the chat the all of the um, poems that we have already that we've already uh, cross covered, and that doesn't mean that you all can't continue to write on these subjects if some some inspiration comes to you. So. If you have some kind of paper, pen you want to jot down, I always have that definitely in this class. So um, if anybody wants to participate, we were speaking one class about what Word Up actually meant. And Word Up usually in the community, or I would say the hood, where we grew up was about listening, listening. And, uh, having a confirmation or basically what you're saying, or it's kind of like saying yes. It could be expressing the mood of the day, something like that. So if you want to participate, Ms. Betty Coleman, if y'all want to think about the word up for today, word up, if I think about something for today, it's, uh, I would say, um, Gratefulness. I feel like gratefulness is a great word for today and really every day. Just being grateful to be alive. Miss Betty Coleman, you got a word for today? Content. Content. Okay. I like that word. Mm -hmm. Miss Betty, anybody just Satis really satisfied? Feel sorry. Satisfied. What about togetherness? Togetherness. All these words are making me feel warm and fuzzy in the inside. How about hope? Hope. Ooh. All these words will even stretch their arms out and cling it together. Uh, peacefulness. Peacefulness. Okay. Anybody else want to share a word? Oh. Um. Love. Mm, got to be in that song. <laughs> All right. I guess I, this is my first time ever doing this. I thought it was kind of cute a couple times. I saw it then. Sometimes I thought it was weird. But even online, I want to give y'all all, all a virtual hug. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love you so. All right. I want you all to write a legacy poem. So write that down, legacy poem. Legacy. Yes, I'm gonna be starting to uh, write it in the chat. So what does that mean, legacy? What we want to leave. And I look it up. What you want to leave to someone. Oh, okay. 
My legacy is to find peace. Somebody said peace. Peacefulness. Yeah, somebody said my legacy find peace, hope. We can take those words. Love, peace, hope, love, whatever. Hmm. All right. So the legacy poem, I want your poem to be concentrated on what words you would have to say to either your family or the world. The family or the world. Your family and friends. Or the world. Okay. The world going to leave if family. It, and if it was the world, oh, okay. family and friends would be included anyway. But however, if you want it to be directly to your family and or friends or the world. And I would take the approach that I was. I was brainstorming it over it about it over the week and since last week and I was saying to myself you guys have lived longer than I have and did I have anything to actually write about due to the fact that I didn't feel like I had maybe the experience or the stories or the wisdom that you have to share. However, I did say that at my right old age, I'm able to write what I can at this point because no time is promised to anyone. And, you know, we have to make every moment special. And because nobody said that I'm going to even live to be your age. So I have to write my legacy poem from wherever I'm at at this point in my life. So don't forget that you have a lot of things that you do have to share and write about. You know, you can brainstorm thinking about different um, areas in your life or ages, you know, write these things down. You can take it by ages or uh, experiences, travels, you know, think about some of the things that were really sentimental or, you know, maybe your poem might be humorous or funny. So, however, the style of the legacy form needs to be an A, B, C form. So, write that down, please. Alphabet form or A, B, C form. And essentially, it's basically an acrostic form. Your A, B, C will basically be vertically up and down the page, A, B, C on each line. And you're supposed to write your poem from that um, the acrostic uh, theme or rhythm. So if there's anybody that doesn't Acrostic. know how to do that, I'm going to share a poem, which is an ABC poem, and it is titled Poem of, About a Friend by Marilyn H. White. So I'm going to emphasize the letters so, to, so that you're able to see how you're able to Excuse me, Kim. What's it's a poem about what? A poem about a friend. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to emphasize the alphabet so that you're able to see that I don't have to recite each alphabet like A, B, C. You're supposed to emphasize it at the beginning of each uh, line. Except you as you are, believes in you, calls you just to say hi, doesn't give up on you, envisions the whole of you, even the unfinished parts, forgives your mistakes, gives unconditionally, helps you, invites you over, just be with you, keeps you close at heart, loves you for who you are, makes a difference in your life, never judges, offers support, picks you up, quiets your fears, 
raises your spirits, says nice things about you, tells you the truth when you need to hear it, values you, walks beside you, explains things you don't understand, yells when you won't listen, and zaps you back to reality. So that, was that sounds like a friend. <laughs> it does. <laughs> so that's a four-sided yes. friend by H. A true friend. <laughs> yes. So, I could write one about an enemy. <laughs> Girl. But don't forget. It's got to be a legacy type. It's, it's a legacy form as a legacy form, but have it in the ABC form. I just gave you an example, although this person was just writing a poem in the ABC form of, to a friend or about a friend, what a friend, a true friend is. Yeah, it's a poem about a friend. Yes. So once again, again. Your, your lesson is to write a poem to your family and or friends or the world. Legacy. Legacy. We put it in the ABC format. Yes. Okay. And you see how those lines in this poem was not even long, but everything made sense as it uh, referred back to the topic or the subject or the title of the poem. Anybody have mm -hmm. anything else they want to share? Mm -hmm. Yes, no? Yes. All right. All right. So... Did you want to hear another? Uh, let's see. So you want to jot down in your brainstorming on your paper, what you want to do is jot down ideas that you are basically wanting to write about. If you're writing to your family, you need to think, you need to settle your heart and relax and say, what, what is important to me as it pertains to my family? What things are important? Is it togetherness? Some of the attributes that we spoke about today, affirming our words in our word um, when we recited and shared you need to write things down about, if you're writing to your family, what things you want them to cherish as it pertains to tradition. About tradition, you can write these things down so that they'll be more helpful to you when you start to write. Uh, what about some of the food recipes or the actual, the real memories that your family has shared? You can put individualistic things in your piece that people don't know about that would be really original because anything that you've shared in the past nobody else has ever gone through like exactly like you have so share some of those moments um you can talk about how new generations came into your family or even the wisdom of older generations you can speak about ancestors, people who have passed along. Um, you can speak about hardships in your family. Hardships as it pertains to, we all have them in failures. You're gonna have failures in life. You have to get back up. And so, you know, speak about the real bulk of what actually makes a family a family. Speak about recipes, the food that you eat, the times that you have, uh, maybe something granddaddy used to do, or even some of, think, talk about the youth in your family, or what type of qualities you would want to see, or change you would want to see in your family, or give them support and kudos for the job well done that's going on in your family. Even speak about your family name, like, is it Wright, W-R-I-G-H-T, my name is Kimberly Wright, so what does, 
talk about family reunions. You know, those are some of the things you can speak about. And just try to live your life with being firm and being standing upright and speaking the truth. And continue to spread the word. Next week, we may possibly have a guest poet sharing some of his work. Possibly, um, I don't know if it's going to be next week or the following, but however, we will see when we took in. And um, also, next week, we will be covering some of the happenings or going on as it pertains to poetry and spoken word and slams that you can submit your work in because I know a lot of people are not participating out as it pertains to if you want to be on stage. And that's available as well. Um, so I'll have some dates that and some possible addresses or websites where you can submit your work and just have fun writing. So, anybody else want to share any thoughts, any suggestions on some things that you want to uh, cover in class? And thank you for last week, Miss Vicky, speaking about um, the Uncle Remus writings and all that good stuff. We're going to work on some things in that arena. Anybody have any questions about the lesson next week? Mr. Gurley, Mr. Mill, you're going to be writing something for us to share. Let me hear your, your wise words. I know you got a lot of knowledge and, and experience. Think, I'll think about something I can write about. <laughs> okay. Anything that you feel free about, because don't forget, even if you're not feeling you as a writer, you want to feel the energy of what's going on. And if something else comes to you, just go ahead and write about it. We had one lesson called free verse, where free verse, where you write about anything that you want to write about. It's, it was all up to you. So just feel free to do that and share. Anybody else have something that they want to say? Share? Well, it, made, it made me feel good when you suggested uh, put everything in a little book. I got a little notepad that I had sitting over here on that bookshelf. And I just started jotting down ideas and writing little poems. And <laughs> you straight up magic. Yes. Okay. And that was, that was in the middle of the book. And I just it just helped me to just jot down my ideas. I've got some poems I started and uh, some some uh, notes I've been taking in terms of writing a story. So it helps me to keep everything in one place. Okay. That's really good. So that's what you really want to do is uh, make sure that you are actually jotting down and sorry, compiling your, your pieces. And don't forget everyone that I will see you next week. I can't wait to hear your writings on the legacy forms, ABC style or alphabet style. And I had a wonderful class, even though I came in a little bit late. Don't forget, this is Word Up, the class about poetry, short stories, and spoken word. My name is Kimberly Wright. You all have a wonderful and blessed day. I will see you next week. Keep the love. Bye, Mill. Right. Bye, Sally. Bye, Cam. Thank you. <laughs> Bye, Jane. Uh, <laughs>